This is the Stubb family. A family of realty investors, well known in Puerto Rico for getting away with whatever they want, with total impunity and even government support. Well, this people just decided that they needed to make their new Fairfield Hotel by Marriott, on top of the wetlands of Luquillo and Kilahol Natural Reserve, as well as destroy protected indigenous lands. So they planned for it and got an illegal permit with a corrupt amendment that the government of the new Progressive Party had made to bypass that laws that protected these sites. They paid good money to the party and got the permit. A huge hotel would sit on top of one of the most precious and important outlets of water from the mountains to the sea. We all know how that goes. So it turned out that the Supreme Court stroke down the amendment to the law as it was deemed totally illegal, but they never stopped construction of the hotel nor the destruction of the wetlands. They filled up the last line of filters that Mother Earth had for the rainwater before it reached the ocean. They eliminated the habitat for endangered species. They contaminated the grounds. Acid rain now will destroy the reefs and Pure Torricans will have lost an unbelievable and valuable archaeological site and resources. For this disaster and corruption, the EPA determined that this construction had violated the Clean Water Act of the federal government, and we thought this would be a turning point towards restitution. But they only imposed a fine of $30,000 for a hotel worth millions, proving once more that, even in the federal government, you can get away with whatever you want, if you have enough money to pay for fines. How is it that this hotel is almost finished with an illegal permit and violations? Are the people who donate to Pedro Porlosi above the law? Why are the federal agencies so lenient with these criminals? For now, it's looking like corruption pays well in Puerto Rico.